What's going on, everybody? Something I want to start doing two per month is just to show the massive volume it's being graded. And this is done by gemrate.com, and it's just enormous. So just to show you, February was a short month. We all know that, 28 days, except for leap year and stuff like that. So when you look here, PSA, they say grade 750,000 down 3%. We'll look at that in a minute, but that's on a shorter month. SGC is grading 82,000 a month. Beckett, I guess they're more worried about their shows and rock hard reviews than anything. I, I have no idea there. But their stuff's so low, they've never really changed or done anything during this whole COVID. So as you can see, Beckett probably three years still gap until you get stuff back probably, even though they're taking new orders and going to shows and grading. I've now heard from various people Beckett's uh, slowly grading because they don't have the um, plastic for the cases, which I think is quite funny because yet they're still going to shows and grading brand new cards and RCR in them, but yet the people that had stuff sitting there for 12 months, hey, you guys are back in line. We're getting fresh blood stuff. You know, it makes no sense to rumors out there. All right. So this talks about SGC and stuff like that there. They are picking up pace because 1% change from January being a short month. Pretty good. Even Becca got a few more, but I think they're counting the raw card reviews in this. I am not 100% on that, though. So what I want to come down to here, remember, 750000 for the month. In January, they did 775000 so it's a difference of 25000 If they would have had two more days in the month at this rate here, they would have had a variety of percentage up. So really, PSA is really on target in pushing our cards back to us. I know a lot of people don't agree with their grades and stuff like that there, but, you know, hey, you're getting your cards back, you know, at least. And they're doing something about the backlog while still grading fresher stuff. SGC had a little shutdown type deal, and then they raised prices. They're still doing their thing. So, overall, not bad. I mean, as you can see back in January, Beckett went up uh, 24%. Again, I don't know when they're counting their graded numbers, which I'll have to really look into, is if they're counting uh, raw card reviews again into this. Even though it doesn't go on their website that way, but I don't know if that's counting in the numbers. But craziness, when you start looking at these numbers off here, I'm going to go back up to the chart here. So I know a lot of people is always going to, you know, like where's HGA and all this other stuff at? Well, you know, these are the three that they go off of here, the top big three, whatever you want to call it and stuff like that. And give me a second because I want to float to another page, but I want to pull this off real quick. Because I don't know if this has anything personal on the data. Let me flip over here. This is actually on uh, my slabs' Facebook page for anybody that really wants to dig into this. But i got to find where it's at. All right, here it is. All right. Oop, I keep hitting the wrong button here. Hold on. This one. All right. Don't know if this guy does these or not. They're really good. I'm going to try to blow this up here. And I know it may look a little funky, so let's go like this. All right. So this guy does it by week here, as you guys can see, and he breaks it down by sport and all that stuff there. Kind of gives you an idea on the different stuff with PSA, but we're going to keep going here. There's CSG. They're on here as well, too. If you look, I mean, 29,000, 11,500 altogether, over 701,000 uh, graded cards for CSG. That's Com C numbers, which we're not going to look at. My slabs numbers, really, really good there. I mean, when you start looking at uh, stuff on there. Okay, nope. 
All right, this is what I want to talk about here. So this here, somebody actually went into a lot of these new grading companies out there. Everybody remember Pure Graded X? I haven't heard much of them in a long time. As you can see, it looks like they're not grading anymore. 5,600 cards were done. Um, now, you keep in mind, some of these newer companies did grade a lot of their own cards, too. So I don't know how much that number is inflated because of it, too. All right. So HGA, a little over a quarter million cards graded out there for them. Looks like they're going about eh, roughly average in between that, maybe close to 57, 5,800 a week. FSG, in case you guys haven't heard of them. Looks like there's none in a the database there, but 11.3. Transparent Grading Team. I think they're based out of California now instead of Pittsburgh. 2,507 cards, according to their database. Again, a lot of these companies that are newer, I know we're grading their own stuff and grading for, you know, YouTubers and stuff like that to promote their stuff. So I don't know how much the numbers are inflated because of that, too. Um, Dynamic Grading Company. I heard of that name before. I just can't picture it. A little over 11,000. or about almost 12. TGA I've heard of. And I believe TGA is a bigger one for Pokemon, if I recall correct, and Magic the Gathering. 20, almost 22,000. If I'm wrong, it's just because I'm trying to remember some of these names. Oh, that's the last picture. So there were some other companies on here. I just wanted to... Sh oh, I'm sorry. I, I should have blew this up for you guys to share this with you. But, you know, it's not showing that they're still currently grading anything. Or at least they're not updating their database or whatever they use for it. For whoever's making these charts up. Um, I want to say this company's been in, 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 what, probably about a year for TGT roughly. Maybe give or take a few months here or there. But you're talking in a year's time frame, like 200 cards a month being graded only. Um, that's kind of kind of shocking in a way. Pure graded X, you're talking, they've been probably, I don't know, close to maybe a year and a half, two years. Again, probably maybe 300 cards a month. HGA's been around, but you guys kind of got that stuff. FCG is a newer company. I've seen their stuff. Uh, a lot of shows and stuff like that there. But I want to just bring this to everybody's attention. I'll flip this back off here real quick. Wrong dang button again. It keeps moving every time I click on this. Er, back. There we go. So they're done. They are. there's other people out there tracking a lot of these other companies out there. Just to show how much is being graded in bulk. Um, and mostly because, you know, they see their cases or cards at different places and stuff like that there, too. So, but the big ones, you know, those top three right there. I mean, PSA, you know, if you guys haven't seen, they bought that, got the place in New Jersey. I'm going to guess probably summertime next year. It'll be up and running. We'll find out more on to it, how it's going to work. East Coast versus West Coast, all that craziness there. Um, and what it'll mean for, you know, will your stuff still, if it's sitting in the other place, will it stay there type deal until it's graded? And then, or are they going to move it? I highly doubt they're going to try to move everybody's cards. But Numbers-wise, I mean, not bad overall for a short month of February out there. Um, they're coming back. They're really, really coming back with a lot of stuff out there. And I'm going to probably say with SGC as a smaller staff, just to be up in these numbers here, really good. Really, really good up there. I think somebody said now they're around like a 10-day, 14-day turnaround. I don't know if it's 10 days, like 10 actual business days or 10 calendar days, so we'll just say 10 to 14 on to it. But not bad overall looking at it and with this stuff. But I wanted to have a little, uh, I guess you could say, sequel to yesterday's video with the PSA 10,000 Club with the three uh, 20,000 Club members just to show that the companies where they're at grading per uh, month and stuff. Now, PSA's numbers also include like 
tickets and packs, even though it's not a huge number on to it and stuff. But all right, guys. Hopefully, it's uh, a little bit of interesting stuff on to it. Um, and if you're out there with one of these grading companies, grading with them, especially these three here, it kind of gives you a look at, like, this one here. We might be waiting a long time for Beckett. You know, PSA's talking, you know, bulk stuff like May, June. I think it'll be like June, July still, no later. I say it's going to be summer is what I had originally, where they'll start allocating the bulk stuff out as they're clearing that stuff out. But other than that, guys, have a good Wednesday, and I'll catch you guys uh, next video. Don't forget, Overtime Live, Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern.